next speaker is Mr. David Coburn, and I'd like to thank you. My time is up. David, the floor is yours. Bazadobji, <coughs> President. Uh, this is about the EU approving an international convention. The object is scarcely the point. Do we want to conserve tuna? Of course we do. We want the largest possible breeding stock to deliver the greatest numbers. That's common sense. Whether this agreement will achieve that is debatable, at the very best. But what is clear is that international conventions are for nations, I repeat, nations, to sign. The clue is in the name, nations. Over the weekend, we witnessed bloody scenes as Spanish police terrorized the people of Catalonia to stop them expressing their view, the very negation of everything my group stands for. It's also our name, freedom and direct democracy. That's our group. Madrid justifies its behavior on the grounds that Spanish law is being broken. Putting aside the question as to whether a government should beat up its people in that way, even if they are breaking the law, we are entitled to expect the government that does this to be a stickler for the letter of the law. An international convention is a convention between nations. That means it should be, uh, the parties to it should be nations. The EU is not a nation or a state and should therefore not be a party to inter international agreements. International, may I say. And if the Spanish governments are sticklers for the legal protocol, they should share our view. They do not, of course, because their view of the law is entirely tendentious and self-interested. If they were consistent and decent, they would not try to deny the long-standing international agreement of the Treaty of Utrecht, some hundreds of years old. They would not constantly try to bully Gibraltar. And to clarify, we, the UK, push our money and democracy where our mouths are. We staged a referendum on Scottish independence at taxpayers' expense, may I add, and the vote was won for the Union. The Spanish might have done much better to behave as the British did. We oppose this convention, ladies and gentlemen, as ultra-vires. Thank you, Madam President.